The Rich Tapestry of Ancient Persia Empires, Rulers, and the Arrival of Islam Imagine a land where the echoes of ancient battles and the whispers of timeless wisdom blend seamlessly into the very air you breathe. This is Persia, the cradle of empires that stretched across continents, the birthplace of visionary leaders like Cyrus the Great and Darius the Great, and a nexus of culture and knowledge that shaped the course of history. From the majestic ruins of Persepolis to the poetic verses of Rumi, the story of Persia is one of grandeur, innovation, and transformation, a saga that continues to captivate and inspire. Journey with us through the sands of time to uncover the epic tale of a civilization that even today leaves an indelible mark on our world. Moving forward to the main video, I request you to please subscribe the channel after watching. The history of Persia, now known as Iran, is a rich tapestry of powerful empires, influential rulers, and significant cultural and religious transformations. Persia's ancient history is primarily dominated by the Achaemenid Empire, which emerged around 550 BCE under the leadership of Cyrus the Great. Cyrus the Great, reigning from 559 to 530 BCE, is renowned for founding the Achaemenid Empire the first Persian Empire. His remarkable achievements included conquering the Median, Lydian, and Neo-Babylonian empires. Unlike many conquerors of his time, Cyrus was known for his policy of tolerance and respect for the customs and religions of the lands he conquered. This is exemplified by the Cyrus Cylinder, often considered the first charter of human rights. Cyrus was succeeded by his son Cambyses II, who ruled from 530 to 522 BCE. Cambyses the Seku continued his father's legacy by expanding the empire further, most notably by conquering Egypt. However, his reign was also marked by instability and internal revolts, which cast a shadow over his achievements. Following Cambyses II, Darius the Fras, known as Darius the Great, ascended to the throne and reigned from 522 to 486 BCE. Darius the Fur is celebrated for his administrative genius, establishing a centralized government with a system of satrapies or provinces. He introduced a unified monetary system and commissioned significant construction projects, including the Royal Road and the majestic city of Persepolis. Under his rule, the empire expanded into the Indus Valley and Thrace, and he successfully suppressed revolts in Babylon and Egypt, solidifying his control over the vast Achaemenid Empire. Xerxes thus, who reigned from 486 to 465 BCE, is perhaps best known for his invasion of Greece, which included the famous battles of Thermopylae and Salamis. Despite his military campaigns, Xerxes continued the construction projects initiated by Darius I, completing Persepolis and further embellishing the empire's capital. The Achaemenid Empire eventually fell to Alexander the Great in 330 BCE, leading to the establishment of the Seleucid Empire by Seleucus of Force Nicator. Seleucus Y, who reigned from 305 to 281 BCE, maintained Greek cultural and administrative practices in Persia. He founded several cities including Antioch and Seleucia, which became important centers of Hellenistic culture. The Seleucid Empire eventually gave way to the Parthian Empire, which lasted from 247 BCE to 224 CE. One of the most notable Parthian rulers was Mithridates I, who reigned from 171 to 132 BCE. Mithridates Voraz significantly expanded the Parthian Empire, capturing Seleucid territories such as Media and Mesopotamia. Another significant Parthian ruler was Orodes II, who reigned from 57 to 38 BCE. Orodes II is known for his victory over the Romans at the Battle of Carhae in 53 BCE, a significant triumph that stabilized Parthian control over their territories. The Sasanian Empire, which succeeded the Parthians, is considered one of the most important periods in Persian history. Founded by Ardashir I, who reigned from 224 to 242 CE, 
the Sasanian Empire marked a revival of Persian culture and Zoroastrianism, the state religion. Ardashir Farai established a more centralized government and reinforced the importance of Zoroastrianism, which had been the predominant religion in Persia for centuries. Shapur Fry, who reigned from 240 to 270 CE, continued to strengthen the empire, famously defeating the Roman Emperor Valerian in battle and capturing him. Shapur Thurn's reign saw the expansion of the empire into Roman territories in Syria and Anatolia. One of the most illustrious Sasanian rulers was Khosrow the Fur, also known as Khosrow Anushirvan, who reigned from 531 to 579 CE. Khosrow Furfurm is celebrated for his administrative and tax reforms, which brought stability and prosperity to the empire. He also promoted cultural and scientific advancements, supporting scholars and artists. Khosrowvain's military campaigns successfully defeated the Hephthalites and re-established control over the eastern territories. The arrival of Islam in Persia marked a significant turning point in its history. During the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, 570-632 CE, Islam began to spread across the Arabian Peninsula. After Muhammad's peace be upon him death, the Rashidun Caliphate, 632-661 CE, continued to expand Islamic influence. Under the reign of Caliph Umar, the Muslim armies defeated the Sasanian Empire in a series of decisive battles, including the Battle of Qadisiyah in 636 CE and the Battle of Nahavand in 642 CE. These victories marked the beginning of Islamic rule in Persia. The Umayyad Caliphate, 661-750 CE, consolidated Islamic rule in Persia, implementing administrative changes and establishing Arabic as the administrative language. This period also saw the integration of Persian culture into the broader Islamic world. The Abbasid Caliphate, 750-1258 CE, further enhanced Persia's role as a cultural and scientific center. Persian scholars, scientists, and poets made significant contributions to the Islamic Golden Age. Prominent figures such as Avicenna, Ibn Sina, advanced medicine, astronomy, and philosophy, while poets like Ferdowsi, Rumi, and Hafez produced epic poetry and mystical literature that remain influential to this day. The pre-Islamic religious landscape of Persia was dominated by Zoroastrianism, one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions, founded by the prophet Zoroaster, Zarathustra, around the 6th century BCE. Zoroastrianism emphasized the duality of good and evil and the importance of individual choice in determining one's fate. Fire temples, where sacred fires were kept burning, were central to Zoroastrian worship. The religion also had a significant influence on later Abrahamic religions, including Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. In addition to Zoroastrianism, various other religions and beliefs existed in ancient Persia. The region was home to diverse religious practices, including those of the Elamites, who worshipped a pantheon of gods, and the polytheistic traditions of the Medes and early Persians. The arrival of Islam brought a profound transformation to the religious and cultural fabric of Persia. Despite initial resistance, Islam gradually became the dominant religion, with the majority of Persians converting to Islam over the centuries. The integration of Islamic and Persian cultures led to a flourishing of art, architecture, and literature, creating a unique and enduring legacy that continues to influence the region and the world. While concluding this video, I remind you to like, share, comment on the video, and subscribe the channel. Thus, the history of Persia Iran is marked by its influential empires, significant cultural contributions, and the transformative impact of Islam, shaping the region into a major center of civilization. Thank you for watching.